Of the tens of thousands that apply, a small handful make it to the academy and an even smaller handful graduate. Uh, I think the ideal Deputy United States Marshal is a, a quiet, humble professional. Uh, it's somebody who can make good decisions quickly. It's somebody who's a critical thinker. Um, and it's somebody who's a great teammate. Biggest priority is safety, um, you know, and that safety of our personnel, uh, the personnel we work with, the communities, uh, the folks that we're trying to arrest. There's the safety of everybody that's involved in the process is the number one priority. What stresses you out might not stress me out, but I need to figure out how you perform under stress as an individual and then I need to keep attacking that until you're not stressed out by that anymore. Ninety percent is mental. Um, you know, it's got. We need to have critical thinkers, not just on the street, but in their everyday tasks. Uh, we'll we'll have a, a young deputy that could be days out of the academy find themselves in a situation where they're the only representation of the U.S. Marshal Service there during an incident and they need to be expected to perform flawlessly at that moment. Even though our missions may evolve, our training evolves and changes, our core to be pioneers in what we do remains the same. One of the main things we're looking for in all candidates is someone that exemplifies the Marshal Service motto of justice, integrity, and service. of the United States. The Constitution of the United States.